guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my Sephora savings events recommendations. Yes, you heard me right. The Sephora savings event is happening right now, guys. And the products that I'm gonna recommend to you are my beauty, skincare, and fragrance non-negotiables and favorites. But before we get into the list, I'd like to thank Sephora for sponsoring today's video. Now, guys, if you're not a beauty insider just yet, what exactly are you waiting for? <laughs> but have no fear, okay? Because I'm gonna leave a link in my description box. You can sign up, sign up is free. You can sign up and shop and save, okay? You can shop online or you can shop in store with the code yay save. It's a multi-use code for Rouge members, VIB members, and insiders. Rouge members shop from April 5th through the 15th with a 20% savings. VIB members shop from the 9th through the 15th with a 15% savings. And finally, insiders shop from the 9th through the 15th with a 10% savings. But guys, here is the kicker. One of my favorite parts of this savings event is that Sephora collection is 30% off for everyone, all tiers, from the 5th through the 15th. And that is literally the first place I go to when I'm shopping the sale because for me, it's one of the best deals. I absolutely love Sephora Collection. And every year throughout the sale, I discover new Sephora Collection loves. And let's just jump right in, okay? So this year, guys, I discovered a new item from Sephora Collection, and this is the Sephora Makeup Setting Spray. It's a 16-hour wear, transfer-proof, and sweat-proof setting spray. Y'all, when I tell you the mist is so perfect it's just a nice beautiful mist it doesn't leave your skin with a glow but it doesn't leave you matte it's like a natural finish it is so beautiful i've never tested it for 16 hours not even gonna lie to you <laughs> but i did have it on for a few hours and my makeup went nowhere i'm actually wearing it today so i have a little bit of glow on my skin if you can see but that's because i have something else that's in the video on top of it but this is a nice natural finish it's not gonna leave you matte it's not gonna leave you too shiny it is perfection and y'all 30 percent off i mean hello now speaking of setting sprays and guys if i didn't mention it every item that we're going to talk about today is going to be linked in my description box and also pinned in my comment section okay and i think i may leave some extras in there that i'm not talking about in the video because i don't want the video to be too long <laughs> so now let's go on to another setting spray guys it's spring and summer okay like spring and summer well spring is upon us and summer is coming soon so now we're going to be outside you're going to be wearing makeup you're going to be sweating a little bit more so you want your makeup to stay in place so another setting spray that i wanted to recommend to you is the one size on till dawn setting spray it's actually a mattifying waterproof setting spray this right here goes on like hairspray but when i tell you your makeup goes nowhere you can go swimming you can be sweating in the middle of the dubai desert like i was last summer and i had this on and my makeup went nowhere it did not move it did not budge because this is like locking it in place like i said it's like a hairspray it actually kind of looks like a small tin of hairspray but when i tell you guys this mist is going to leave you matte and your makeup is not going to go anywhere okay i'm going to speed through these y'all because i have a lot of things to show y'all every year i say i'm not going to recommend so many things but then i have so many things that i just need to recommend to you because they're just so good so next up we have the foundation that i'm wearing today so this is by fenty and it's the ease drop blurring and smoothing skin tint y'all when i tell you obsessed listen to me when i tell you I'm not really a fan of stick foundations. The majority of the foundations that I own are liquid foundations. When I tell you, this right here, I mean, everything about this for me is perfection. The color, my color is 21. It's literally my skin tone, literally my skin in a foundation, okay? and the finish guys it's not shiny it's not too matte it's like a natural skin finish 
it's buildable but it's not going to give you a whole lot of coverage like you'll have a nice smooth canvas and your skin will look even but you'll still see like your skin underneath i have moles on my face and you know a little bit of light spots and you still see it poking through but it just looks so much more flawless and so much more even it is perfection okay this doesn't crease on my skin it makes my face beautiful and just like intact all day no creasing it doesn't cake up it doesn't look cakey it is perfection this is now a holy grail okay it is moved into the holy grail of foundations guys and for spring and summer it is going to be perfect lightweight enough but you're still going to get coverage you can do it in a day for like a natural beat just put like you know a couple of swipes blend it in and when i say blend it in this blends like a dream guys it blends so effortlessly you can blend it with a brush you can blend it with a beauty blender sponge but my preferred way is blending it with a brush i absolutely love it and like i said my color is 21 i'm wearing it today and i mean i'm literally obsessed okay guys so i have two more fancy products to recommend to you the first one is the fancy parfum body cream okay first of all i'm a little late just a little bit late to this party but when i tell you i'm here i'm here for good as long as she continues to make this i will continue to buy it first off y'all already know if you don't know let me let you know the fancy parfum fragrance didn't work for me the body cream made up for it it smells similar to the fragrance but it's just easier for me to wear it has a light fragrance to it it's definitely fragranced but it's light it goes with a lot of your fragrances and most importantly the glazed donut that it leaves on your skin <laughs> y'all it leaves your skin super smooth and just nourished looking and hydrated let me show you do you guys see how it just melts into the skin? It is gone. It just melts into the skin. It smells divine. Oh my goodness, I love how it smells. It has like a citrusy, fruity scent to it. Like I said, it's you smell the fragrance, but it's light enough that you can wear it with any fragrance. It doesn't have to just pair with the Fenty fragrance because like I told you guys, the Fenty fragrance did not work for me, but the body cream is perfection. Another Fenty product, that i want to recommend to you guys that i've been obsessed with i'm wearing it today and this is this lip gloss right here y'all it's like a fuchsia magenta gloss but it has some sparkle in it it is so gorgeous this whole lip combo has me in a chokehold right now i'm gonna share it with you but i just wanted to highlight this right here because if y'all don't have this let me put some more on so y'all can see. Do you see how juicy my lips look right now? Like, honestly, listen, this right here is everything. It is so gorgeous and just yummy and glossy. It smells so good. I mean, the shimmer and sheen that's on my lips is kind of crazy. Like, it is kind of insane. This right here, like I have this one and I'm going back for another one because yeah, I'm gonna need this. And you can wear this in the spring, summer, fall, and winter. It's an all year round universal gloss. It is gorgeous. It is simply perfection. I'm obsessed. Rare Beauty liquid blushes get all the praise and all the hype. I'm not a liquid blush girly, so they didn't do anything for me. But guys, they came out with powder blushes and when I tell you, I'm obsessed. I have two of them and I'm definitely gonna pick up a third color during the sale. So I have Truth and Happy. So Truth is like a deeper, kind of like fall. Like actually you can wear this all year round, but you can definitely wear it in the fall. As you can see, I've already been wearing it because I love it. And then Happy, which I'm wearing today, it's kind of like a baby doll pink kind of color. So I'm wearing it over top a pink blush and I wear it as a blush topper. Guys, when I tell you, it is so pretty. Look at this. Do you see that? Look at that. It is so pretty. It has like an iridescency to it. Y'all, I'm obsessed oh my goodness i love this so much so like i said i have happy 
And I have Truth, top tier, obsessed. Next up, I wanna share with you guys one of my favorite highlighters. I know a lot of people aren't doing highlight right now, but for me, like, my makeup isn't complete if I don't have some type of a highlight on. But this isn't the beam from out of space, see me from Mars type glow. It's a natural glow from within glow and it's by Bobbi Brown. And this is the color Copper Glow. Y'all, I've been wearing this for years. It's a little greasy. Don't worry about it because I wore it today. <laughs> it is such a beautiful highlight. It just gives you that subtle, I'm just glowing. Like the light catches you and you'll see the subtle glow. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all because it is so pretty. This is what it looks like. Such a gorgeous gold color. And you can just, it just gives that subtle, just glow from within glow. Because like I said, even though we're not glowing from like Mars, beam me up Scotty, I still love to glow. So I'm just adding a little bit of extra on. It is so pretty so gorgeous it's kind of sheer but it's still super pigmented but it's not that it's not too extra it's just like right there in the middle it just gives your face that nice subtle glow and i love it so it's by bobby brown and my color is copper glow if you guys watch my get ready with me reels on instagram you see me doing my eyebrows all the time that's literally one of my favorite steps in my makeup application now let me tell y'all i done tried I'm not gonna say every, but the majority of the eyebrow pencils that's on the market, and when I tell you my absolute favorites as of right now is by Benefit, and it's the Precisely My Brow Pencil. It's just pigmented, it's creamy, it glides on. It just makes the application for me so much easier. There's a spoolie on one end, so you know I like to brush my brows up with the spoolie. And then when it comes to penciling them in and even drawing the line, like I outline them with this pencil, I pencil them in with this pencil. It's just so smooth, so creamy, so pigmented. I have at least three colors of this because I use a different color for the inner parts of my brows and like a deeper color for the outer parts of my brows. I just love this so much. Holy grail, I cannot wait to pick up two more of these pencils. I love them so much. So let me show you the rest of my lip combo. Of course the Fenty Lip Gloss in Fuchsia is the icing on the cake, but I use one of my favorite liners. It's actually the only liners that I use. So for a collection and you can save 30%. This is Dark Horse. It's like a deep burgundy color. It's so creamy. It's a retractable gel liner, gel lip liner. It is so creamy. It glides on the color payoff. It's super pigmented. I absolutely love it. So I have Dark Horse. I have a red color, which I forgot the number. And I also have number 17 Molasses, which is a brown color. Absolutely love. 30% guys, 30%. I use this liner almost every single day, okay? If I'm not using Dark Horse, I'm using the brown one and I use the red one if I'm ever gonna wear like red lipstick. I usually like to put the red pencil down first and then the lipstick on top. Y'all, I love these, an amazing deal at 30% off. And then I use this Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the color Baby Doll. It's such a pretty like, pinky mauvey color so i use that and when i tell you this is so pigmented and a little bit of this goes a very 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 long way you do not need a lot of this i just literally put one swipe on the bottom of my lip and just dab it together that's all you need and then i use the fenty lip gloss on top and i mean you can't tell me nothing like this lip is so sexy to me it's so super juicy it's so modern it is such a sexy combo and this right here is everything y'all everything speaking of sephora collection you guys already know when it comes to my lashes i do not put any lash on my face if it's not sephora collection weightless lashes these lashes right here are my holy grail i speak about these lashes to you all the time i am obsessed with these lashes they're full but then they're still like a little glam but they're not too extra like i don't like really really big lashes they just don't look good on me 
they look really good on other people but for me it just doesn't look good so even when i'm going out and i'm dressed up these are the lashes that i'm wearing if i want an extra boost to my lashes because i will do this sometimes i'll double it and i'll wear two of them but for the most part i can just do one and just be good like i'm wearing one today and it's enough for me you know like i don't need two big fluffy like lashes the band of this is super comfortable when i say weightless like you don't feel them on you guys like i'm telling you i'm somebody who's really really sensitive to lashes and the bands can really annoy me sometimes those bands are super thick and stiff and they just like poke you in the eyes it's just not a good situation but these right here like i sing their praises all the time and i promise y'all i'm gonna leave y'all some all right <laughs> I'm definitely gonna leave y'all some. But when I tell you I go in 30%, I rack up on these, okay? And this one is the fluffed and full. I wear this the majority of the time, but I have the everyday flare. I mean, I have every single one of them, but this one is my absolute favorite. So the Sephora fluffed and full weightless false lashes perfection. So the last bit of Sephora collection that I wanna share with you guys are the brushes. I love these brushes these are my favorite makeup brushes they're affordable they're amazing quality when you wash them they do not stain these aren't brand new brushes guys i wash my brushes and they don't stain like do you see these white hairs they're still white this one has a little bit of brown on it only because i touched it but these aren't brand new brushes i use them all the time and i absolutely love them they're weighty they're not too heavy but they're weighty they're not super light either the hairs are synthetic. They don't soak up your product. I just love these so much. So the ones that I recommend to you guys, the number 88 brush, this is a bronzer brush, but I use this for foundation. You can use whatever brush, however you wanna use it. So it's a bronzer brush, but for me, I prefer to use it for foundation. We have the number 57 brush. It's perfect for concealer, like under your eye concealer. It gets right in the corners. It blends out perfectly. Then we have the 93 brush. It's a perfect blush brush and the number 87 brush because I mean like I said I'm still wearing highlight so sometimes I do like to use a fan brush for highlight it's so super fancy and so chic so I like using aluminum free deodorant just to run errands not doing too much going to bed in the house you know whatever but if I'm going out and I'm going to be around people if I'm going to be out for a while I need aluminum in my deodorant and my favorite deodorants Y'all, the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Deodorant, it is so amazing, okay? It smells like Cashmere Mist. It has that light, powdery, kind of floral, but like musky, powdery scent. I love how this smells, but guys, when I tell you, no odor, like no odor whatsoever. You can have this on for 12 hours of the day, 16 hours of the day, and you're not gonna sweat. It doesn't leave you with any odor, no mustiness, no nothing. I love this. Like I said, it has aluminum, so I don't wear it all the time. If I know I'm going out like on a date, if I'm going out with my friends, family, I'm just gonna be out amongst people, I'm definitely gonna wear this because she's not gonna embarrass me sunscreen we all need it and my favorite one is by belief and it's the true cream aqua bomb sunscreen with an spf of 50. no white cast it goes on just like a regular moisturizer that's what it looks like it just makes your skin so glowy and soft and bouncy and supple i love it so much guys i've been wearing this for the past two years and i mean i can't see myself wearing anything else i've tried other sunscreens for my face but this for me is perfection it's my absolute favorite one like i said belief the true cream aqua bomb spf of 50. guys every single sephora savings event i'm buying tatcha if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> I love my dewy skin cream super hydrating super nourishing moisturizing it leaves my skin glowy and just feeling so hydrated it looks amazing when the sun hits it I wear it to bed I mean this is a magic cream for me okay I absolutely love it I love how it feels against my skin I love the dewiness that it gives if you love to glow if you have drier skin trust me you will love this and also my dewy skin mist is there a time that I don't have this on? Let me think. 
No, there's not. Because I wear this all the time, to bed, early in the morning after my skincare, over makeup, under makeup. I absolutely love this. I'm wearing it today. It's giving me my glow. Absolutely love this. Holy grail will always have this. This and this, okay? The cream and the mist, love. Nest perfume oils. Every single recommendations video, I will be recommending these oils because I love them. They are pricey. So I'm showing you the Turkish Rose and the Balinese Coconut because it's perfect for spring and summer. The Turkish Rose is a fruity rose. It has plum and vanilla and rose and musk. It smells so good. It's fruity, it's rosy. It pairs beautifully with other fragrances. You can wear it on its own absolutely love this and then we have the balinese coconut i mean hello tropical hello summer like this is so amazing wear it on its own wear it with your coconut fragrances wear it with the floral fragrance that you want to add some coconut to it is amazing both of these are top tier i love them both i love every single one of them actually from the line i have all of them but i just wanted to show y'all two in this video the new miss dior parfum that was created by francis kirk john y'all it is such a beautiful sweet fruity feminine fragrance it's almost like addictive let me tell y'all something when i smelled this in store i just smelled it because i know that francis kirk john was the creator so i just wanted to smell it but i didn't have any i wasn't planning on buying it okay i just wanted to smell it but then i smelled it i sprayed it on my skin smelled it i was like oh this is really nice and i was walking around sephora and i just kept smelling myself and i was like you know what i cannot leave the store without this fragrance because it is so good it's juicy it's floral it's fruity it's feminine it's perfect for now it's frou frou la la you know what i mean but it still has a little bit of something to it it's nothing too heavy it's nothing deep it's not like a date night sexy fragrance it's just really pretty perfect for lunch perfect for brunch or just any summer or spring outing in the day this is perfect very feminine very fruity mass appealing crowd pleasing it is a gorgeous scent yum pistachio gelato by kayali y'all y'all already know okay i don't have to say too much this fragrance is so gorgeous I mean, this is like a date night in the summer, okay? You can layer this fragrance with other fragrances or you can wear it on its own. It has a cooling, powdery, aldehydic type of scent to it. It is so yummy. You definitely smell the pistachios and it's gourmand, but it's not like a super edible gourmand. Like it literally smells like perfume. Like I said, it's powdery. It's a little floral. It has like a cold nature to it. It is so amazing i'm obsessed as you can see from my dent i mean i can't stop wearing it can't stop smelling it it's one of my favorite fragrances in my whole entire collection definitely one of my favorite kayali fragrances it is perfect for the spring and summer not me matching the bottle okay we're matching y'all this is gucci flora gorgeous magnolia this has jasmine this has musk this has vanilla this has dewberries and coconuts, and you smell the coconut, y'all. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, perfect for spring and summer. Matter of fact, I need to spray her because I got this over the winter, so I couldn't wear it. But y'all, when I tell you, please get your nose on this. This smells like, almost like candy-like. It's floral, but it's not too floral. It has the dewberries, it's a little tart. It has that coconut. The coconut is creamy and meaty. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Like, I have the small bottle. Honestly, guys, I should have gotten the big bottle. I literally played myself by getting this little bottle because this is going to be done in like a month and a half. I'm going to devour this. It smells so good. Like I said, it's like a fruity floral coconut. But the coconut isn't like a suntan lotion coconut. It is so gorgeous. It is slept on because I don't hear too many people talking about this. But when I tell you, this is gorgeous perfection, y'all. Oh, I'm so excited to wear this. I'm obsessed. I should have gotten the big bottle. Gucci Gorgeous Magnolia. The last fragrance on the list is by Killian and it's Love Extreme. Guys, Killian fragrances are very pricey. So please take advantage of the savings if you know what I know. I'm definitely gonna re-up on my bottle because this is all I have left. Y'all know this is one of my favorite fragrances ever. If you love sweet fragrances, 
I mean, you can just go ahead and get this, okay? This is citrusy, but it's marshmallowy, rosy, vanilla. It is so seductive, so good, so sexy, a highly complimented fragrance in my collection. It is delicious. Like, honestly, like you literally want to bite yourself, but it doesn't smell like food. You just smell irresistible. It is an irresistible, sweet, sexy fragrance. It is so beautiful okay it's not a new fragrance this has been out but it's one fragrance that has my heart i will always have this it's a holy grail fragrance for me i just love how it smells and you can definitely wear this in the spring and summer because it has a bright citrus opening and the citruses it kind of cuts into the sweet but it's still very very sweet and i love sweet fragrances so i have no issue if you love sweet fragrances as well then get this and like i said take advantage of the savings all right guys we made it to the end of the video leave it in the comments below and let me know what are you planning on picking up this sephora savings event i'd like to thank sephora again for sponsoring today's video again guys everything mentioned in the video and more will be linked in the description box let's talk about it below like we always do remember guys to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace